Hi, um, so we're going to do another uh, holiday cube. Um, what I was sort of hoping, um, after talking about the Splinter Twin um, Kiki Jiki type deck, uh, I was hoping that I could probably try and force that, but I mean, it's difficult to force that. You just, I mean, if the cards turn up. Um, so what we have here, I mean, Doretti is very good in the Artifact deck. Um, Massacre Worm, uh, so yeah, I'm going to uh, reserve Doretti. Um, oh, Sundering Titan is very good as well. Um, again, the Artifact uh, Ramp type deck. Um, uh, Doretti allows you to... Um, do stuff with artifacts. Um, I think there's some combo with it, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Um, but yeah, we'll try this. Um, I mean, Sundering Titan may be better. Um, Parallax Wave is very good again. Uh, hmm, okay. Um, I'm going to take Skull Clamp. Uh, it's a major card draw. Um, uh, it works very well with a uh, card drawing engine. Sorry, it works very well with um, any real token um, producers. Um, what else would I think about doing? Um, Toxic Deluge is good, wipes out obviously a load of um, smaller creatures, um, which arguably would be good against me. Um, I'm hoping to stay more into, um, say, blue um, and maybe more combo y, broken -y type decks um, as opposed to what I've been doing recently. Um, I mean the, the ramp deck was okay and uh, from yesterday and the um, uh, um, uh, the reanimate type deck. Um, okay so there's no ramp. Um, yep no ramp at all. Uh, not really any artifacts. Um, Frailies destroys artifacts, which I didn't realize the other day when I played into it. Um, Elspeth Sun Champion works really well with Skull Clamp, put three um, uh, things out, and then just Skull Clamp them down. Um, as does Maluku. Maluku, I don't know how to pronounce that. I've heard it loads of times, but I probably got to keep getting it wrong. Um, Frailies also works well. I mean, Frailies helps with ramping. Um, I think I think I'm going to stay with Elspeth. Um, other notable cards: um, Breeding Paul, Gifts on Given, um, nice little card draw. Um, So we have Reanimate, uh, Woodfall Primus, which is a good Reanimate thing. Um, uh, so Moat can slow things down, um, but realistically, I mean, I suspect, I mean, you, there's not going to be a huge amount of uh, um, uh, yeah, mass creature decks. Um, so I'm still trying to avoid going down. I'm going to go uh, um, Temple Garden for land. Um, actually, Tundra is better. So Tundra. If there was a white, uh, red one, that would have been better, but um, control magic is really, really good. Um, you just end up controlling their biggest dude. 
uh, or they're only dude in a lot of cases. Um, Bognitz, uh, Boris Signet. Uh, I mean, that's not, I don't think that will come back. I don't think that will wheel. Um, come around, back around the table to me. I think Control Magic is probably the pick here. Um, um, I mean, that's a Nivernal's disc, never, I can't pronounce words. Um, the disc. Um, yeah, destroys everything. But, yeah, okay, so we'll try control magic. Um, Inkwell Leviathan, obviously it's a artifact as well as blue. Um, I really think anything Um, okay, I'm going to take Inkwell Leviathan. Um, it might actually be better just looking at. I mean, we've seen two storm cards. It might be better just trying to stay um, blue red. Uh, I mean, blue's probably going to end up being cut. It seems to be. Well, I say that. And then we've got cards like Glenelendrum Archmage, which is really good. Um, the way this works, uh, it's got persist, so it, it dies and it comes back to life with a minus one, minus one counter on it. Um, but you can pay blue, sack it, and kind to target non creature spell. And there's going to be a ton of non creature spells in this deck. Sorry, not in this deck, in this format. Um, so yeah, let's do Glenelendra Archmage, Archmage. Living Death, again, very good in the reanimate deck. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so we've got three cards. Spell Sky, Anticipate, and Careful Study. Um, I think drawing cards is probably, well, drawing cards is obviously good. Um, Merit Angel, again, is pretty fair. Uh, and, yeah, no, I will, um, let's draw some cards. Uh, yeah, let's anticipate. So Massacre Worm came back, Sundering Titan came back, which is fairly surprising because I was, well, it's not surprising that much. Um, I mean, it's more of a, a ramp stroke re reanimate uh, target. Um, I don't know what's better for me. Um, spectral Procession might be better. Um, I don't think I'm playing Duretti. Uh, oh. oh well. Um, am I really playing white though? Um, um, no, I think Spell Pierce. Again, same real reason, um, uh, Glenelen, Glendra, uh, Archmage, Archmage, um, lots and lots of, uh, Maze of Ith is going to slow things down, um, I think we're going to go with Maze of Ith. Um, I mean, Maluka works well with Skull Clamp, but I, I don't know if I'm just trying to warp everything around that. Um, Temple of Epiphany. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fairly obvious that no one's playing just the White Weenie deck, which I suppose is good. I mean, it might have been because I took Elspeth, Sun Champion. 
Um, uh, I can play Boris Chom. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Let's take that. Okay. So, um, Tinker. Uh, I mean, that would work really well if I had a ton more artifacts. Um, Dillion Clique uh, is good. Um, you look at the uh, target player's hand. I think I'm going to go for the Signet. Um, I, it's either Signet or O-Ring. Um, but I think a Signet. I don't really know what I'm ramping to here. Apart, well, okay, these two. But um, it's not great ramp. The uh, ramp targets. Uh, I, okay, I'll rephrase that. These are great ramp targets, but one signet isn't really gonna get it done for me. Um, still, don't really know where this deck's going. It is currently just a pile of cards. Um, however, I've now got. more stuff to do. Um, okay, so my thinking is either of these signets, probably the Golgari. Um, actually, yeah, I'm not really playing black and I might be playing red. I don't both share black. Um, so either the signets or maybe Mindslaver. I so want to play Mindslaver and do really bad things with it. It might wheel. I don't think the signets are going to wheel. So let's try. Uh, I mean, there's also Jace Blair, and, um, which on the grounds it's a Planeswalker and has Jace printed on it is a fairly ridiculous card. One day they might actually print a bad Jace. I doubt it. Uh, Okay, Mole Drifter um, draws two cards, so that's good. Um, yep, let's play Mole Drifter. Um, I can either evoke it, so pay it three, where he just he goes in, draws two cards, and then um, disappears or sacrifices it. I'm not quite sure which uh, the wording is. Um, actually. Yeah, it's sacrifice when it enters the battlefield. Or alternatively, I can pay five um, and I get a 2 2 flyer uh, that draws two cards. So, Mole Drifter. Mole Drifter is a card. Um, okay, so there's lots and lots of cards here, um, but there's also a Jace. And Tony Honest going in, does top three cards. Okay, so that's, that's a name. Okay, so I'm going to play. I'm going to take Jace. Okay, so I could. Uh, how many artifacts have I legitimately got? I mean, that's not going to happen. So, Dragon Lord, Dragon Lord Solengar is really cool. Um, Alternatively, I could Telerian Academy. Um, realistically, I mean, I would need to really, really concentrate on getting a load more um, artifacts to make Telerian Academy good. Um, I mean, realistically, Sundering Titan isn't going really to come down before the Academy, so it would be based off of Skull Clamp and the two Signets. Uh, yeah, okay, let's try this. I mean, I know it's good, so it's not like it's hard to try. And immediately, 
not having any chip artifacts at all. Um, okay, what does Dak do? Um, draws two cards and discards, gain control of target artifact. Okay, I'm going to take Dak and I'm going to dump. Yeah, I think I'm going to move more into blue red. Um, um, oops, Man of War. Marshall, this is just for you. It's not actually greatly. Um, so, yeah, I mean, my other options are um, Figure of Destiny, which is a good card, um, but I mean, it doesn't really do anything above being a a little dude that I push stuff into it. Um, Man of War works well against reanimated some reanimated decks. Um, Star of Temptation. Again, or feed hunter, fiend hunter. I think if I if I keep just taking all the blue cards, um, apart from the fact that blue tends to be the best, um, so I'm fairly surprised that Tinker came back. Um, I mean, play skull clamp. Don't put it on anything. Tinker, Sundering Titan. That's obviously magical Christmas land, um, but we're going to give that a go. Oh, my slave came back as well. Um, all right, fine. So yeah, it's, there's a very high chance that this deck's going to be a crashing and burning, um, but if it doesn't, it will be fun. Um, point to note, uh, Maze of Ith. I only keep saying this because like it's more to remind myself than to anything else. Um, it doesn't tap for land, so it doesn't. It isn't really. You can't really count it as a land as a mana source. Uh, on the subject of mana sources, I think Arid Mesa. Um, yeah, let's do that. Search for red. Um, or search for plains. If I need a planes for whatever reason, um, Elspeth potentially. Uh, Glacial Fortress. Um, white blue. So I, I, at the moment, I'm gonna definitely play Manatai. Um, yeah, Seething Song, um, Storm type card. And basically anything that's fast mana is a storm type card, obviously. Uh, and I took it by mistake. All right, fine. I was gonna take um, uh, the land. I had too much talking and not enough actually clicking. Okay. Um, so cards I'm looking for. I have no idea. Um, Academy runes. Um, if I can recurse mind slaver, that's very good. Um, what other options have I got? Uh, Basalt Monolith. Oh, Academy Runes. <laughs> okay, well, I will take Academy Runes because I don't think it's coming back. Um, Basalt Monolith would have been very nice. I suspect that's not coming back either. Um, uh, Hedron Archive. I think really I'm just looking for Artifact um, Mana now. Um, I'm slightly confused why that's listed there. I don't know, whatever. Uh, just the rarity. It's slightly confusing because that appears to be a um, uncommon. Anyway, either way, Academy Runes. Um, I mean, it is a. Yeah, um, playing 10 each turn is going to be amusing. Uh, it's Time Twister. Uh. It's possibly the worst piece of power. Um, what are my other options? Phantasm Phantasmal Image. Um, 
Well, if I dump a load of stuff, then... Yeah, let's try, try Time Twister. Uh, that's an artifact. I have one fetch land, I think. Arid Mesa is a fetch. Yep. Um, I think Ever Everflowing Chalice is better, though, um, which I really should have seen and pointed out earlier. Um, other good cards, Supreme Verdict. Um, uh, yeah, but no, Everflowing uh, ever Chalice. Um, hopefully that's good. Manic Vandal, uh, that's amusing, because I've got lots of time, uh, lots of uh, artifacts. But anyway, um, I think Elspeth's coming out. Um, ooh, so I've got Brainstorm, Opposition, and Demir Signet. Um, there's obviously some other very good cards, Great Titan. It's fairly ridiculous as always, um, but I mean, ugh, I'm not really looking to have lots of creatures, so I think opposition is not going to be that good for me. It's fairly brilliant against me because it's it's opposition and it's just ridiculously good. I think I still want the Demir Signet um, again. I'm not 100% sure what I'm ramping to apart from just Mind Slaver. Recursion, recursion, recursion um, and Inkwell Leviathan, or um, what was the other card I got? Happy? Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, eh, more signets. There is the potential for this deck to do lots of things, but not actually do anything, not actually win. Mind your control magic can, can win. Um, Or I could just cast um, Oh Tesseract is Alright, I think it's between Tesseract and Thirst for Knowledge. Um Ulamog is always tempting on the grounds that he's a ridiculous creature. Um What I can do with Tesseract is just untap up to two target artifacts, which obviously works very well with the um, Signets uh, or Ever-Loving, Ever-Flowing Chalice. So yeah, I'll take that. Um, uh, what does... So Mind Desire... I think, I mean, on the grounds that it's got Storm written on it, it's potentially incredibly good. Um, I suspect, I mean, my deck might be able to take advantage of that, but I, I, I doubt it. Um, Brago King Eternal is very good for resetting things. Um, so yeah, let's take that. Um, when I say resetting, um, I'm tapping or actually exiling any number of long land permanents and then putting them back in again. Uh, Ancestral Vision. Okay, I'm going to take that. Um, it's a very good draw card. Play it turn one. Um, I mean, it, it gets worse. Well, people who know actually about this game have said um, it gets worse the longer on you play it. Um, but if you play it turn one, Ancestral Vision, it's very good. Um, it's it's based off of a card called Ancestral Recall, which is uh, one blue, draw three cards. Uh, it does also mean that you know if you play it turn one and your opponent has counters, um, yeah, they can just sit there and just counter it, which is fairly irritating. Um, okay, so I've seen Strip Mine and also um, Wasteland. Um, for land destruction. I don't really think I have anything else here. I mean, Exalted Angel's alright. Um, it's a fourth life flyer with Morph. Uh, but I, I mean, I don't really want to stay. Like I say, I'm not really sure what my colours are. I mean, it, well, it's blue, obviously. Um, maybe 
bit of white and a tiny, tiny bit of red for DAC. Yeah, it's a play strip mine. The Salt Monolith came back, uh, which I'm fairly surprised at. Uh, full Spike, um, I prefer to have the, the Monolith. Um, it's an artifact, artifacts work well. Um, it's better than Hedron Archive, Hedron Archive, sorry. Um, so yeah, let's play Assault Monolith. Uh, okay, so Bitter Blossom and F of, um, and Skull Clamp is just ridiculous card drawing. Um, you lose a lot of life, but you draw lots and lots of cards. Uh, I've got I've got two ways of splashing black. I'm going to take it. Um, I may not play it. Um, Crucible of Worlds, it's another artifact. Um, I mean, Dragon Skull Summit is two splash colours, which is slightly confusing. Um, well, it's not confusing, it's just not that good. Uh, I'm going to take Inquisition, I, I mean, probably won't play it. Um, that works really, really well with uh, Crucible of Worlds. Oh, I mean, yeah. yeah, let's take that. I mean, it's a zero cost. Um, so my Desire came back and so did Banisher Peace Priest. Um, let's, let's take Banisher Priest. Okay, so lot, I've got lots and lots of cards. Um, huge amounts of cards, actually. And most of them are fairly good. Um, Again, I'm not actually sure this is a deck, uh, as opposed to just a pile of cards. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so Mana Tithe, it's good at the beginning, but, and Spell of Pierce. So I don't really have any hard counters, they're all ones um, that depend on the other play, playing card, uh, sorry, paying, which is good at the beginning of the game, but less good later on. Um, Mana Tithe, no one really expects Mana Tithe, because uh, it's white as opposed to blue. Um, Uh, all right, what am I actually trying to do with all of my artifacts? Um, Dak Faden. Yeah, oh, actually, where's Tesseract? There's Tesseract. Uh, so if I can. Yeah, I mean, turning everything into a 5 5, that's not bad. Um, Yeah, so I like that. Um, it also untaps, search my library for a convert uh, for an artifact card. Tinker is ridiculous. Um, Gain control of target artifact. Uh, when you cast uh, gain control of that, um, well, that's never ever happening. Well, okay, no, I still don't, I don't have that. Card draw. Um, okay, I'm going to take that out. I mean, that might end up coming back in. Um, I mean, the, the Crucible Worlds and the Orb work well together, but I think it might be a bit cutesy. Um, but, I mean, just multiple... Oh, and I've got... Oh, I've forgotten. i got Tolarian Academy. So, yeah, obviously, that, yes, yeah. So, that, I mean, Tolarian Academy rapidly just ramps everything out uh, for blue. Um, Alright, so we're keeping that, keep that fading out. Um, oh, sorry. 
there. Uh, um, so that's 24. I only need to cut one. So my feeling, my my feeling is either banish priest or Elspeth. Now of the two, Elspeth is definitely better. So we'll get rid of that. Um, it's a pity I didn't get any. Um, Uh, Path to Exile or um, uh, Source to Plowshares. I don't think I saw any of those cards. What is Sundering Titan doing up there? Sundering Titan definitely is coming back into play. Um, Sorrow Temptation. Uh, take that out. Um, Manual Bounces. That does something, that does something. I mean, Sorrow's Temptation is, is going to be good against um, certain cards, uh, sorry, certain decks, um, but I've got pretty much the same thing with Control Magic, um, and creatures tend to be easier to kill than enchantments. Um, Jace Architect Thought, uh, yes, does that, um, does that. Okay. Um, all right. Um, so anyway, Tundra, Talarian Academy. Do I really need uh, blue or red? Um, well, I don't need red, so we're not playing that. Um, Strip Mine does tap for thing. Maze of Ith, I don't want unless uh, Academy Ruins. Does Academy Ruins tap for? Manolus, yes, it is good. Um, Arid Mesa. Uh, I mean, I can look for Tundra with it, so why not? Um, right, Maze. I think, I, I mean, I can bring Maze in. Well, there's a whole bunch of cards that I can bring in off the sideboard. Um, I'm sort of missing out on the Skull Clamp, um, Bitter Blossom, or, well, yeah, Skull Clamp, Bitter Blossom uh, interaction. Um, but I think realistically, I mean, that requires a certain amount of things to all line up in once. Um, so I think we'll run it like this 9 um, 2. Um, so that's 9, 10, 11, 12. And two, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that should be okay. Good and been nice to have some um, uh, mocks. Uh, I'd blue or the, um, the white, obviously. Um, okay. Uh, I will readily admit now I'm not that good at playing the blue. Um, more controlly type decks, so this may all crash and burn, but we shall see. Okay. 